approximately one in six U.S. men will be affected by prostate cancer in their lifetime, resulting in about two million men living with the disease in America today. The treatment challenge for prostate cancer today uh, implies a choice between doing nothing, which is active surveillance, or doing radical treatment, such as radiation therapy or radical prostate surgery. Um, there really is no middle ground between these two options currently. And uh, for many men who are healthy, who are young, and who get this sudden diagnosis of prostate cancer, to have to choose between doing nothing and radical treatment, which can potentially compromise their quality of life, that's a pretty dramatic choice. High intensity focus ultrasound is focused energy which is able to produce high temperatures and go through a distance so it can be used to destroy tissue without incision, without destruction of surrounding tissue. Uh, a huge advantage of this technology is that it decreases the risk of side effects like they are uh, in, in these procedures incontinence, erectile dysfunction, and uh, massive bleeding compared to the open surgery. Based on some of the excellent results that are coming out of Europe, I personally went to Professor Chaucey's unit in, in Munich to uh, see this firsthand. Uh, based on these excellent results, uh, there is high anticipation today uh, about this uh, technology being available in America in the near future. The clinical experience in Europe is uh, fast advancing. So meanwhile, there had been 30,000 patients treated in total of Europe. Uh, in uh, our institution in Munich, we alone did 2,500 patients. Uh, with uh, great success rate, somewhere around 87 percent, and this is just recently published uh, uh, a study which collect all the experience of the other centers together and come up with a 10 years success rate of 83 percent, which is excellent and very comparable to the alternative. HIFU is not yet FDA approved. EDAP, the manufacturer of Ablatherm, is currently conducting a clinical trial of HIFU in the United States. I serve as the medical monitor for this trial. These data will be submitted to the FDA in 2012, potentially resulting in FDA approval by early 2013.